Hey YouTube, what is up? This is Hypergon back again for another video. This time talking about the newly released OCG ban list and <laughs> oh god. It's an interesting one, alright. Uh, a lot of cards that no one thought would be coming back, or that people were listing as their wild cards for coming back, uh, are apparently being brought back. I mean, again, this is the OCG ban list, and they are doing a pack where they're bringing back a lot of old cards with newer effects. So it's not like they're coming back as we remember them, they're nerfed, or... Like what happened with Dark Strike Fighter, how he's no longer the power he used to be because they eroded his effect and he's not just over the top. But, and again, like I said, this is the OCG ban list. Ours is still probably about a week away, but it does give us like a decent idea on what to expect when, you know, the ban list does come for us. Sometimes. I don't know, Konami's weird. Anywho, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, we have the limited, not limited, um, forbidden section. And there's only one card, Heavy Storm. Makes sense, we have that too. Uh, next is the limited section, and this is where things get interesting. First off is Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. Yeah, you heard me, Chaos Emperor Dragon is coming back for the OCG. And again, it's, his effect's probably going to be a little different, but it's ultimately still Chaos Emperor Dragon we're talking about. I can't imagine that they can nerf it that much without still being ridiculous. Anyway, next up is Sinister Serpent. <clears throat> I'll know what he does. Blaze Phoenix, the Burning Bombard member. This is kind of a newer one. It's a fusion monster between a machine and a pyrotype monster, whose effect says once per turn you can burn your opponent for 300 for each card they control, but he can't attack the turn to do that. Not bad. Uh, next up we have Senju of the Thousand Hands, Manju of the Ten Thousand Hands, and Necros of Unicor. Hmm, wonder who they were trying to nerf in this one. I'm assuming next format will likely see a similar ban list. Not for January, but for the one afterwards. I can easily see that happening. Uh, next up, Instant Fusion to 1. Now we start getting a little weird again. Temple of the Kings. This is one that hasn't been heard for a while, and I had to remind myself what this does. So the way it works is that, once pr is that while this card is face up on the field, it's a continuous spell card, you can activate trapped cards the same turn you set them. That is insane. There's another effect too, but it only works with one specific monster, which I don't see anyone running, so I'm just going to ignore it. But yeah, Temple of the Kings is back. Then we have Preparation of Rites, you know, again, hitting the Necros. Uh, then we have Symbol of Heritage, which is if you have one, if you have uh, three copies of the monster with the same name in your graveyard, you can basically monster reborn one of them and equip um, Symbol of Heritage to that monster. Uh, again, I'm assuming this is a Necro's hit. I can't imagine any other decks that could really use that. They don't have Burning Abyss, so I don't see that being a big thing. And I also don't see that for Shadals or anything like that. So, again, I'm assuming that's a Necro's hit. Uh, Super Poly is at 1. This is where things get really weird. You remember how I said they banned Heavy Storm? Harpy's Feather Duster is at 1. Yeah, let me say that again. Harpy's Feather Duster is at 1. For those of you who have somehow forgotten or are new to the game, Harpy's Feather Duster is the better Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm wipes all spell and traps on the field. Harpy's Feather Duster is only your opponent's spell and traps. Why? I... Why? I, I cannot comprehend their logic on that one, but... Like I said, this is a weird ban list. Next up is Exchange of the Spirit, which is a trap card that says you can, if you have 15 or more cards in your graveyard, you and your opponent swap your deck and graveyard, and then shuffle your new deck. <clears throat> it's pretty good late game, or if you're running something like Light Swarms and you're milling a lot, so you'll have a bigger graveyard than your opponent, and it just kind of screws them over. But I, I don't see this being a big deal, honestly. The final two cards for the limited section are again some odd choices crush card virus and ring of destruction i'm sure i don't need to explain why those are bizarre if any of you have ever seen the original Yu Gi Oh anime you would know what they do and trust me it was just as dumb in real life as it was in the show those cards are ridiculous now again a lot of these cards are getting reprints in some future ocg packs so it's not that bizarre that they're coming back but it's still weird to hear, like, Chaos Emperor Dragon and Harpy's Feather Duster are going to become a thing again. But, 
again, I, I don't see anything like this happening for us, at least within those cards, because we're not getting a pack like that. So, I mean, we may eventually, but for the time being, it's not looking like we're going to have anything like that. Uh, next up, we have Summy Limited. We have Insector Hornet, Atlantean Dragoons, number 11, Big Eye. Big Eye was limited for them before. Uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rooster, and Monster Gate. I can honestly see all those. It's not all that surprising. I could even see that happening for us, realistically. I mean, most of those aren't that big of a deal. Except maybe Big Eye, because he's at three for us, and we've never cared, so. And finally, the unlimited section. We have Evil Swarm Ophion. Again, he was hit over there as opposed to us. Chronomaly Nebra Disc. That's an OCG card, so that doesn't affect us at all. Uh, finally, Card Trooper, TD Striker, Tragodia, Lawnfire Blossom, Hieratic Seal of Convocation, A Hero Lives, and Ojama Trio. All of which, except for A Hero Lives, are possible things that we could see. Um, the only reason we can't see A Hero Lives becoming unlimited is because it is already, so it'd be kind of pointless. But yeah, I'd be okay with all those. You know, Car Trooper, Striker, Lawnfire. Oh. Actually, I think Lawnfire is a 3 for us. Oh, we'll grab her. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I can easily see all those. It's really the limited section that's kind of wonky, but again, that's because they're getting a lot of erratic cards that are going to have their effects changed. But still, if this is any indication on what we're getting outside of that, I am completely okay with this. I mean, this will be a really cool format if we can get things like that. Um, again, I'm still hoping ours is going to be a little bit different. I've already posted my predictions for the TCG ban, unless you can check that guy if you haven't already. And well, until next time, this is Hypergon. Peace.